As you may know, Vetric just released the version 11.5 of the software. And once you download that, that basically comes in as a brand new software separate from version 11. So now you would have two different softwares on your computer. So in this video, I'm going to show you some tips that you may need to know when you update your software like this. And these will apply to Aspire, VCarve or Cut2D. So the first thing we're going to look at is opening up older files. So if you created a file in an older version, sometimes when you open it up, it may still open up in that older version. So you can see this one just opened up in version 11, which is the older version. So what we have to do is actually change the default program that opens with. So I'm going to close this down. And the way you do that is right clicking on your file, then go to properties. And then where it says opens with, you want to click change and you want to select the new version of the software that you have and then click OK. And now that will change and then click apply and OK. And now when you double click on that to open it up, it should now open up in the newer version of the software. You can see in this case it opened up in version 11.5. OK, so that's the first tip is changing the default program that it opens with. The next tip is for your taskbar at the bottom. You can see I have an older version down here, version 10.5, and I have version 11. So if you use your taskbar down here to open up the programs quickly, you want to make sure you pin the new software down here. Otherwise, you'll continue to open up the older versions. So when you open up the new version of 11.5, that's going to come up down here but as soon as you close this program down, it's going to disappear from your taskbar. So what you have to do is right click on that icon and then click pin to taskbar. That will now keep that logo right there so you can click it easily to open it up. And then you can also move that around by clicking on it and dragging it wherever you want to. So I could put it over here next to the other ones. And if I wanna remove the other ones so I don't accidentally click on those, I could just right click on one and then click on pin from taskbar and that will remove it from the bottom there. Now that does not uninstall the program, it just unpins it from the taskbar at the bottom. So if you did want to remove the old programs, you can just go to your start menu and either search for them in the bottom or scroll down until you find them. So you can see I have a Spire version 10.5. I can open that folder up and click uninstall if I wanted to remove it. And also while we're in here, you can also go to the new version 11.5. And if you were to right click on that, you can also pin it to your start. So if you do that, that's going to pin it over here on the right side. So when you open up your start menu, it will be shown as a pinned item. And you can click that and move it around as well. So if you wanted to move it up here, you can put it right there where it's easily found. And then you can also right click on that and go to more and you can pin or unpin it from your taskbar at the bottom. Okay, so those are just a few tips for things you may want to do when you update your software like this. And this will make your life much easier so you don't accidentally keep opening up the older versions of the software. Now you can keep and continue using the older versions on your computer. I like to do that just in case there are bugs in the new version or if I just wanted to save as an older version so that way somebody else can open it as well. But if for some reason you needed more storage space on your computer, you can also uninstall the older versions and then just use the new version. But that is entirely up to you. So that's it for this video. I will continue to make new quick tips on some of the new features. But if this video helped you out, make sure you like and subscribe for more.